Hi there, today we're going to show you how to use the Pro Bike Tool Mini Bike Pump. Firstly, we'll show you how to assemble the pump. To do this, you simply open the dust cover at the handle end of the pump, like so, and unscrew the hose, which is stored within. Then, making sure you've got the correct end of the hose, you open the dust cover at the opposite end of the pump. Then, all you have to do is screw in the hose, like so. You just screw it in until you've got a nice firm connection. Now the pump's ready to use, so we're going to show you how to use it on the bike. Now we've shown you how to assemble the pump, we'll show you how to use it. It's important to note, before you even start thinking about pumping, if you use an inner tube with a removable core, you should make sure that the removable element is securely tightened before you start pumping. Once you've done this, you unscrew the valve of the tube like so. Once you've done this, you need to bleed a little air from the valve just by giving it a tap. If you don't do this, air may become blocked in the hose of the pump as you pump away. Once this is done, you screw the hose of the pump into the valve, pushing it on and ensuring you have a deep connection, screwing it right the way in. Once you've done this and you're happy that you've got a deep connection, you're ready to start pumping. Once you've finished pumping and you're happy with the pressure that you've achieved in your tire, you unscrew the pump like so. Then make sure to tighten up the valve of your inner tube. When this is done, you simply put the pump away, ready to go back in your pocket or your backpack. Simply return the hose back into the handle in the reverse of what you did earlier to install it. Then put the dust covers back over both ends, like so, and you're ready to go. Airguns X1000 Pro Bike Pump is an essential tool for serious cyclists. Its aluminum barrel allows for high pressure pumping up to 160 PSI and the ergonomic handle makes gripping the pump comfortable. With just a few strokes, your bike tires will be properly inflated. An easy to read pressure gauge means that you'll hit the right PSI every time and our no leak pump head easily latches on to your tires valve securely without fiddling. Also included are adapters for balls and inflatable toys. Cycle safely on properly inflated tires. Trust the quality and durability of the Airgun X1000. In this video, we're going to show you the Pro Bike Tool Pump with Gauge. We'll start off by taking you through how to assemble the pump. First thing you need to do is open the dust cover at the handle end of the pump and unscrew the hose which is stored within. The hose is then screwed into the opposite end of the pump, so you need to open the dust cover here and then screw in the hose at the relevant end. There's arrows on the hose which show you which end you need to use for either a Presto or a Schrader valve. As a general rule of thumb, Schrader tubes and valves are found on mountain bikes and BMXs and Presto are for most other types of bike. On this occasion, we're going to be pumping a Presto valve so you assemble the hose into the pump like so. Before you start trying to pump the tire, you must first ensure that the valve of the inner tube is fully unscrewed, otherwise air will get trapped in the hose as you try to pump. You then screw the hose of the pump deeply onto the valve of the inner tube like so. You may need to give it a bit of a push as you screw. When you're sure that you've got a nice secure fit, you're ready to start pumping away. Once you've started to get some air into the pump, you'll see the pressure gauge starting to rise, and that's the red tube here. You can see now that we've got about 4 bar, or 40 psi. Once you've achieved the pressure that you want, you simply unscrew the pump and hose from the valve 
like so. And it's important also to make sure that you do up the core of the valve. Once you've removed the pump from the valve, you're ready to disassemble it. All you have to do is unscrew the hose from the pump and place it into the handle end of the pump, like so, and screw it in. You then replace the dust caps at both ends, stash it away into your bag or your pockets and you're ready to ride off.